I know, we don't function more. Marcos says you'll find the numbers after the name of a little uh, Freestyle Friday, a little Super Mario Brothers 3 action. Y'all already know what we be is doing over here. A little World 7. A little, uh, I can't get over this pipe over here and I'm not timing it well enough and I don't want to end up hitting this guy, but whatever. We'll get up over there and then these fireballs keep coming around. Well, it's tough, man. I mean, there's no, no other way around it. This stage just got hard. I mean, look at this timing right here. You look at this and you're like, hold up, y'all just don't time out well? Like, I need to land this, like, perfectly? Like, all right, like, bet. Like, that's what's up, man. Um, I used to play this game a lot with, like, my mom growing up. It was one of the few games that she was, like, cool with, like, playing. But she couldn't really get past maybe, like, I don't know. Like, the Sky World is probably as far as, like, she would make it. So sometimes she would just get frustrated just to help me to, like, beat the stages for her. And then she would, like, try to play the stages and we kind of came along. And I just remember her getting to these stages over here in World 7 and being like, nah, nah this, this, this not, this, this ain't for me. Like, this is just, like, dumb and hard and, like, why are we doing this? Like, what's going on over here? I'm looking over here, I'm like, come on, buddy, I need you to die, man. I don't need you to be doing all this kind of stuff. But whatever, we got the one up over here. Look at that situation, man. It's just piranhas on piranhas on piranhas. I was like, yo, I wish I had a fire flower. I'm looking, I'm like, do I just take the hit? I think I might just take the hit. I was like, I'm kind of getting put in a bad spot here. Nope. Dance around it, don't worry about it. I wonder if you could go behind that white block there. I don't know if I've ever tried that. Because if you, like, uh, duck down behind those white kind of backgrounds, you get behind the background. But I don't know if it'll work there. I've really never tried it this far into the game. It's actually kind of weird because it has, like, the same aesthetic as, like, maybe the first kind of couple stages in Mario 2. Which is another thing that just makes World 7 so unique. It's just they, they just draw from anything. Like, like, whatever. Like, everything's, like, fair game. Look at this death trap right here. I'm looking at like, the piranha plant there. No, piranha plant here. No, piranha plant there. Okay. Oh, this is crucial right here. What was at the other stage? I got to get over this guy. Get under this guy. This guy went in. So I was like, oh, something timed out nicely. Come over here. And I'm like, I don't know what the hell is going on over here. I was got the fireballs. This dude just throws some fire at me. And I was like, yo, who invited you to do that? I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm like, all right, like, let me see if there's anything there. No, 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 okay, back up, back up. And then I'm thinking, I'm like, I, I guess I just go over as part of my best bet. I'm kind of debating life existence and everything. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm like, all right, let me draw that guy's fire, drew it, boom. And I was like, all right, I got on top here. Let's run, run, run through the thing and on to the other side. Woo, I got nervous just looking at that right now, y'all.